If you want to travel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should look for the guide. The first step is to look for the guide. Let me give you the following example of the various levels of guides. There are guides who will tell you this is the way. Go right, go left, turn right, turn left, and they will give you instructions. Now you can do it on mapquest.com. You can get a list of instructions. The way to Al Jannah is much simpler than all of this. Turn right, go straight. Turn right, go straight. That's the easiest instructions you can't find on mapquest.com. But you will find with the heirs of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And this is what I mean that you should start your journey from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Referring to his heirs, to have a shaykh. You can't start from your own self. You can't start from school, from your own, from your own intelligence. Imam Abu Hassan al-Shadhili rahimahullahu ta'ala who developed the way of Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani and brought the science of Tawheed to Tasawwuf and united them together. Tasawwuf is Tawheed and Tawheed is Tasawwuf because the ultimate level of Tasawwuf is witnessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and being absent from everything other than him and that is the reality of Tawheed. There was a question posed in the presence of Imam Abu Hassan al-Shadili and several other scholars including the Sultan of the Ulama, Al-Imam Izzuddin Abdul Aziz ibn Abdul Salam, the famous uh, Shafi'ite fiqh and uh, hadith and usul scholar known as the king of the Ulama. The question was posed, Many al-wali, who is the wali? Probably the simplest question by all people is the one at whose hands miracles are done. No, this is not a criterion uh, by which we judge or measure the awliya. The awliya are judged or measured by how much they guide to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many people they take through the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is the wali? The question was posed. One person answered, it is the one who guides you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man yadulluka ala Allah. Guides you here means shows you the way. It is the one who shows you the way to Allah. Imam Abu Hassan al-Shadhili opened his eyes and said the following words. ذَلِكَ لِعَامَّةِ النَّاسِ الْوَلِيُّ هو من يأخذ بيدك ويسير بك إلى الله تعالى ويقول لك ها أنت وربك To show the way from far away to tell that this is the way go right, turn left and so on is very easy for anyone anyone who have opened the book and learned something, studied some, something got a PhD, went to a college can tell you this is haram and this is halal can tell you this is right and this is wrong. Can tell you this is the Sufi way, but from far away. We need people who travel the path. When I tell you, for example, if uh, you want to go somewhere and you're unsure of uh, the routes and directions, you would ask the first question, have you traveled there? When you ask someone, do you know the way? They say yes. How? Did you go there? He'll tell you, yes, I've been there several times. Then, okay, you drive with them. You go with them. Why? Because they drove to that address several times. So you're sure they're not going to get lost. They're not going to get distracted on the way. But when they say, no, no, I studied it. I looked into maps. I know the directions very well. You can go. Okay, you know it. When you studied it, but information has to be updated. Now you have satellites with GPS systems. Still, sometimes they fail. You need a guide to take you 
through the way to tell you of any sudden incident, obstacles standing in front of you. This is why Imam Abu Hassan al Shadri defined the wali by saying, the wali is the one who takes your hand, walks you through the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till you are in front of your Lord. He tells you, here you are with your Lord. That is the wali. So there is a journey. A journey automatically means there is a distance, right? There's distance, we need to travel. Let me just shed some light on the metaphor of the tariq and tariqa as known with the Sufi terminology. Tariq and tariqa is taken from the Quran al Karim. Because tariq and sabil are synonyms. And in the Quran al Karim, we have common metaphors such as fi sabilillah. In the way to Allah, in the way to Allah, fi sabirillah. So there is a way, a metaphorical way, fi sabirillah. Because some people say this is bid'ah. Where did you bring this tariqa from? From the Quran, from the book of Allah. We're not bringing anything from our minds. Don't listen to these people who tell you this is bid'ah, this is an innovation, this is wrong. There is no proof. They are deprived. Turn away from them. Don't listen to them. The sawaf is established on the book of Allah, the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Abu Sulaiman al-Darani says, our knowledge is bound by the book of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Similar statements were made by Imam al-Junaid. Imam al-Suyuti, for example, says, he read the words of Imam Abu al-Hasan al-Shadili, Imam Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi, Imam Ibn Atayullah al-Sakandari. He didn't find any single word throughout their works together that needs interpretation let alone if there be any need to refute or criticize the sufi works are far from criticism but people who criticize things they don't understand this is the problem with people who criticize the shaykh al-akbar muhyiddin ibn arabi in his mecca revelations as uh, we might fall in similar states if you read uh, physics and you're not uh, a specialist of physics, you're going to become heretic in physics. What if you decide to do some uh, experiments in chemistry, you have never studied chemistry, you're going to end up damaging your life or losing one of your limbs. The same happens to people who try to read the works of these great Sufis without going step by step. We study math first, we go from one grade to another, till we come to a level when we study Einstein physics, for example. So, the journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is metaphorical. There is a way we travel through. Sometimes, we get too much attached to concrete things. The Sufis wanted us to understand that even this journey is metaphorical, so one of the best statements and catchy phrases in Tasawwuf, they say, there's no distance between you and Allah. There's no distance between you and Allah. لَيْسَ بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ مَسَافَةٌ تَقْطَعُهَا وَإِنَّمَا هِيَ نَفْسُكَ It is your nafs. It is your nafs. The whole struggle, the whole journey is about going to defeat your nafs beyond your temptations, beyond your passions, step by step. Otherwise, there's no distance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not somewhere and we're traveling to Him. No. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in no place. He is the creator of place. He's not in need of place. Otherwise, had He been in need of place, then He wouldn't be God. God is in no need. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha nas antum al ila Allah. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyu al-hameed. O mankind, you are in need of Allah. Allah is the one who is al-ghani and al-hameed.